Yes, this is the crown of the all new 2019 Toys of Grandvia VX. I'm sorry for background noise, reason being because this dealership has the radio playing in the background and also um, there's um, a lot of people doing sales and stuff like that as well, so I do apologise. Anyway, let's get straight into it. Towards the front, you've got full LED headlights, as you can see. You can see the headlights, the insides, actually all got this nice peanut black material, which looks quite nice. It's also got some nice chrome on the outside of the headlight there, as well as over here as well. See the grill here. Lots of chrome. <laughs> Got your four collision sensor over here, which is quite flush. It's quite nice. Some cars have this little plastic sort of plate here, which actually looks quite, which looks quite a little bit quite ugly. But um, how they done it here, it's actually quite flush, so it's actually quite nice. A little detail they got there. Camera. So you've got four parking sensors integrated into the front bumper there. Chrome and more piano black trim. The fuel consumption of this van is 2.8 liters per hundred. Sorry, the fuel consumption of this car is 8 liters per hundred kilometers, and the engine size is a 2.8 liter diesel. Combined 8.9, 7.5 extra urban. Sorry, I said read the numbers back to front. <laughs> so this is the Grand Via lineup. So the model you're looking at is the VX. So you, this is the what the the stand Grand Vier has. And when you go for the VX, you get all these extras. And this one's just a optional pack you want to add onto it. Show your wheels. Got the pole in the way, but let's move this out of the way for just a split moment. Some nice black. The tire is actually a new model of tire, so I haven't seen this model by Bridgestone before. So it's called the Bridgestone Dura Arvis R660A tire, and it's a uh, sorry, 70 inch tire, and they are made in Japan. In case you're wondering, which I saw this. No, there you go, made in Japan. Soft rubber. It's quite nice. Got your indicators integrated into your side view mirror there. There's actually a reason why a lot of cars have that. It's actually a really good safety feature. And the reason for that is, see, from a distance, it's actually a lot easier to see someone changing lanes when the side view indicators are flashing. Whereas, whereas before you would normally have them on the side. And it just makes it so much more visible because this is actually your field of view, not here. So when you're in the car, you're not going to really see the front where you can see the sides and this level a lot easier. So that's actually a safety feature that a lot of cars have now. So it's actually a good safety tip in case you're wondering. So pretty cool stuff. You can see you got some more chrome here. Chrome handles. All very nice. The suspension is actually different now. This is actually based on the high ace, but it's more luxury, luxury, much more luxurious. So it's a little bit different. So you've actually got like the normal suspension opposed to the leaf spring. Now leaf spring suspension is quite beneficial when you're carrying heavy loads for transport and for like work in like those trade trade saw work. But um, in terms of comfort wise, it's not really the best. But um, yeah, it's good so they actually change it up so it makes it more comfortable. Show you the rear of the Grand Via. So, slightly different tail lights, as you can see. Lots of chrome again. Grand Via. So the camera keeps blurring out. 
third braking light, huge rear window. You have four parking sensors integrated into the rear bumper there. Two cameras. Come on, the battery is flat. Whoa. So I won't be able to show you all the electricals because a lot of people have been jumping inside in the other car and they've wear the battery flat by playing around with all the controls. So very wide. It's a manual tailgate, as you can see. Very wide. Now you'd see that the room you'd say isn't much, but that's because you've got the extra two chairs. But if you actually slide this forward, you've got quite a lot of room, so that's good. So nice little carpeted. Got some additional storage there on the side. Bolt to that holds the spare tire, which is right here. Pro belt. Suspension. Single exhaust. Thud. Good opportunity to show you the. This is also a manual as well. So here are your rear seats. So it's all textured here, as you can see. Nicely carpeted here as well. Got some pockets here. Got another one there. Got two. Whoops, sorry. Got two USB ports. Got some silver stitching, which is a bit hard to see. And these sort of headrests, which are, gives you more comfort. Like I said, the battery is flat, so if I do press any of these buttons, it's not going to do anything. But this is all electrically adjustable. Stitching. You've got a little bit of this, this film over this is to protect it, but it's kind of nice wood saw finish. Lots of room. Got opportunity to show you the dashboard from the rear seats. So very similar to highest, just a bit more luxurious. So, yeah. so pull this handle here, this can move the seat so you can adjust it any length you want. So I'll just move it just there. And you can have a look at the rear chairs. The step inside. Have a good look. So it's exactly the same as the front two. You got good visibility view out. Very nice. So you got cup holders here. One of them there. Some other flex stitching. I do this deliberately as you guys know just to show you build quality. What I thought was very thoughtful was they got isofix iso points on all the seats, which is actually quite good. Um Normally you expect that's on a car, but not in a sort of van. So I'm actually quite happy they've done that. So it's really good for families with small children. So you've got some storage there. And you've got some this sort of textured finish there. You've got one shade there, and then you've got an additional one here. You can see, also quite nice. I kind of like how they got these um, airplane style lights. Like when you're on the, like an, a flight, they have these little lights where you can direct the light to and you can press it, but yeah, it doesn't work with the battery flash. So, hooks here if you want to put like a shirt or something like that. And you got the second one up there, I've already shown you that. Very nice.
and to put it back you can you can just put this here and then you just press this back and that locks back in place and you can slide forward back wherever you like so you have tons of space there and if you can see as I've shown you there you can see even things all pretty good The interior. Whoops. So this all wood finish all here. In case you're wondering, the Grand Vier, the Grand Vier is made in Japan. We've got a small bottle here. You can fit a much larger bottle there, obviously. So obviously you can't do anything. Stitching. Got some storage towards the sides there as well. For drinks or other things. In case you're wondering, this is actually a solution to wash your car. It's called, it's by Shine Armor. It's a wallless wash. I've done a review on this and um, yeah, it works pretty well. So yeah, in case you're wondering um, of purchasing this product, I'll leave the details in the descri description below. So feel free to check it out. So pretty cool stuff. So yeah, got a wood saw string wheel. It's quite nice, it's dark wood. Got this really nice leather wrap string with this nice black stitching. And the buns feel very solid. Wipers to the left and headlight and indicator controls to the right. In terms of the adjustment of the steering wheel, this does have a telescoping function so you can see you can adjust it forward and back and up and down so it's actually great to get your ideal driving position which is really good got your gauges towards the left your rev counter and temperature gauge right fuel gauge and your speedometer and the center your multi-function display which i can't really show you much with it without the key got some vinyl trim towards the front with some black stitching it's very nice the visibility is pretty good very airy very good. You do have a tiny bit of a blind spot there, but I would forgive it because you've got this sort of quarter window here, so you can peer through junctions and things like that. Some of that wood storage. We've got a 12 watt part lead, so 120 watts. Can't test out the radio, so I have done that on my highest video, so you can feel free to check that out. And kind of gives you a little demo. Quantum. And speeds. It's got this really nice little leather gear shifter. Feels very nice. I'm not too sure what that is, but um, yeah. Got some storage. If I pull this out, you can. If you pull a large bottle or even probably a handbag would fit there quite well. Just make that wood sort of trim. Stitching. Got some wacky sunglass holder. Got lights, which I won't turn on as I meant, as you guys know. Wide vanity mirror. Another one here. Very nice, very solid. Got a leather wrapped handbrake with some black stitching and the vinyl shift boost and some more additional storage over here too. Along with a card, I think it looks like a card holder, aux and USB, and the vault power outlets. Can get a little bit messy because it's hard to open the bonnet with one hand. <clears throat> so this is the engine. The engine is, as I mentioned, a 2.8 litre diesel. Power 
there. Made in Japan, of course. See the car, so I'm gonna have to be a bit quick. And this is the version you're looking at at the moment. So, it's the price 82, not obviously Australian pricing, 82,993 Australian dollars. Graphite is the car. Yeah. Well, that's my walk around of the all new Toyota Grandvia VX. Sorry for mistakes in the video. Uh, a little bit under pressure because there's customers wanting to see the car. Hope you enjoyed this video and um, feel free to like and subscribe. This car is for sale at Venture Godly Toyota, so I'll leave the details below. And if you're interested in purchasing that product as well, I'll leave those in the description below as well. Thanks for watching. Thanks. Bye.